Okay, so this is uh, Sugar OS, uh, which is the operating system that the One Laptop for Child uh, Foundation released. Uh, and so all the information you can find by clicking on the question mark, it's a very impressive project and uh, all the information can be read from within it. Uh, but I thought I'd have a look at the operating system um, and see what what sort of things were in there. Uh, now I found, uh, if I click on this snake, there is some very sort of basic programming uh, that you can play around with. Uh, and for instance, this bounce. This takes me back to the days when I had a ZX81 and uh, you used to basically get things to uh, display on the screen. And uh, what's great about it is obviously, you know, kids or people new to computers can kind of play around with it and see what sort of thing they can get working. And this is the sort of thing I would have done on the ZX81 back in the day. Uh, but there's all sorts of things on there. There's a little Pong game. Uh, so I hit play on that. But the nice thing about it is you can see the coding behind it. Now I don't code. Um, I, only what I used to do out of magazines into my ZX80. But it's interesting to see uh, you can go through it and you can kind of work out what's doing what. And then you can just change a few parameters and, and kind of just mess about with it, which is which is interesting. So we're going to paint, start a new, and you can see here you've got things, uh, you know, like drawing. So we can draw something, we can fill it in. Let me change the color of the bucket. Oh, that must be the color for everything. Yeah, color, fill, and you've also got shapes as well. So we might want to change the color of that. An eraser. So that's paint. Imagine if, you, if you'd not used a computer before and all of a sudden you've got things that can do this. Uh, it, is, it would be amazing. Uh, and then Tam Tam Mini, which is uh, music and different sounds. But also you can play some music and mess about with some of the settings. Oh, it's Speedler. So the, you get the idea of that, uh, but I thought that was quite impressive and uh, very intuitive. The browser um, doesn't work great for me. Uh, I was getting lots of exceptions uh, and I wanted to see, because it's obviously designed to be an incredibly lightweight operating system, I thought maybe uh, YouTube might work on it, but when I tried it, uh, it came up with an exception of accepted uh, for it to go past the exception, but none of the videos properly work. So if you click on it, uh, it looks like it's going to work. But then it comes up like this. Uh, and there could be all sorts of reasons. Um, I haven't found a way of setting the clock. Uh, and obviously, I, I guess the, when these are given out by, by the charity, given out to organisations or educational facilities, they would be set up by someone who, who had control over it. And they don't let you certainly the settings and, and different tweaks aren't at the forefront, which we, they would be on a lot of computers. And I guess this is because you're giving this to kids uh, in a lot of cases and you don't want them to, to be clicking on the wrong things. Um, another really good bit about it uh, was the get books bit. Uh, here we go. There's get books. Um, so there are a load of bits of literature which are actually in here. So Treasure Island, you can hit get book. And then at the top, it will come up here. There you go, download completed, as quick as that. Click OK. Oh, no, I was supposed to click on something else. Three Musketeers, get book. Show in journal, here we go. I think I'll probably click on that. And then we've got pages, that's 719 pages.
so and however I quit out of that I found a lot of it like like this you, you, you go up to the top corner and you can change various things and this would be uh, a peer-to-peer -peer network so this could be other people's uh, one laptop per child computers I can't remember what they call them now I'll put it up on the screen uh, but they would go from sort of village to village passing on uh, a basic internet connection uh, and so this would show you kind of other computers that you could connect to and I guess they would have some sort of local network because I saw there was something about speech on there as well so they could contact each other uh, all sorts of on oh, there there's um, programming with scratch uh, loads and loads of things on there so so just just interesting really it's not an operating system I'm going to use but uh, obviously it's a great project and if you're interested in it you can find out as I say by going to the question mark which is here uh, and then all of this is clickable so you can go through the introduction of the project uh, what is sugar which is the operating system I think uh, about one laptop per child had a volunteer and this has been going since 2008 um, and uh, you can still get the laptops I was looking on eBay they, they still do the laptops that you can get hold of um, and they fold up uh, into uh, a sort of their own case and there's these two antennas uh, on either side uh, which obviously connect to other laptops and networks that, that the project has set up but it, it just for me it was just a bit interesting it's not as I say something I'd run but uh, I thought other people might be interested in, in what it does uh, and maybe sort of seeing how they can help the project anyway uh, I hope this helps thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe